Well, teams from the Midwest Athletic Conference have won 24 state football championships since 1995, with at least one MAC team winning the gold trophy in 17 of the last 20 years. The conference has had at least one representative in the state semifinals in 21 straight seasons, and that's a streak that will continue with two MAC teams facing off in this week's regional final. Tomorrow night, Fort Recovery takes on Minster. For the Indians, they battled through an injury to running back Kyle Schreer in last week's 20-3 win over Lehman Catholic. I think losing uh, Kyle in that game took a little, little uh, momentum away from us offensively, but we were able to stick one more score in at the end and, you know, just survive. You know, a lot of people said we'd uh, bend and we didn't break, and I'd say that's pretty true facts. We, we let up some big plays, but none that would kill us, and we just fought. It was a very physical game and find a way to win. Minster is coming off a win over Riverside in which the Cats scored 21 unanswered points. And playing into week 13 again has raised the energy level at practice. They're ready to go. we got some senior leadership that's going to that's gonna make sure our team's ready to go. Don't really change much. we got 19 seniors that, that want to make sure this is right. So, um, no, nah, just, just, they just got to attack it and, and have great days. Yeah, it's just intense. Everyone's ready for this, and we're all pumped up for it. Tomorrow night in Sydney, it's a rematch from week 7 when Minster beat Fort Recovery 14-12. Both sides are expecting a battle in round 2. It's going to be a really physical game. I, I think I've been saying all week, you know, in these kind of things, that it's going to be a, an extension of our last game, I think. Play extremely hard. we got, we got to play with our hair on fire, man. It's going to be a good one. They're, they're, they're loaded talent-wise. They, they challenge us. Same as when we played them the first time. It's one of the running backs are hurt. We're, the other one's stepping in, and he's pretty good, too. And we're, we're just preparing the same. Well, one thing, they're going to play hard. Another MAC team. They're going to be well-coached, and just the execution part, is what their key is, and uh, they got some nice athletes too. So it's going to be a challenge. Limit their big plays. They obviously have the kids that can make them with Nixon and Deuce and Schmeezing and and uh, and a Hillsman. So um, we're going to have to defend all those guys and and hopefully not uh, not get behind the chains offensively. I think that'll be important. They're going to make make adjustments and and put wrinkles on top of wrinkles. So we just got to be sharp. Got to play football. It's what what you do from day one. So nothing special. No matter the outcome, these programs have a lot to be proud of, with Minster trying to get back to state for the second straight year and Fort Recovery playing in its first ever regional final. We put a lot of hard work in over all four years we've been here, and it's nice to see something paying off. The, the community support's been amazing. One of our captains, Adam Lefevre, mentioned to me the other day, he, he stopped after practice, he says, I don't ever want to take this for granted because he knows you know, the work that it took to get there. Their work ethic has been rewarded. You know, they, they, they've, they've practiced and, and lifted and shown up like a good football program is supposed to do. And those get, you get rewarded for that, that type of work. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of these guys, these 19 seniors, and everybody following them, just trying to get the culture right. With the Indians and Wildcats, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.